guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 9 and 10 of Monthly Girls Mozaki Kins. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, it's raining. I wish that was happening here in Florida. It looks like it was going to rain earlier when I went to go take out the trash, but no. It just would have been nice. Mm -hmm. No, Hockey. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, honey. Oh, my God. No, Hockey. I, I was, I was a little hopeful. Then Nozaki would have been like, no, 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 it's okay. I brought an umbrella. We can both cuddle under it. It would have been so good. But no. This dunce forgot his umbrella too. That's why, like, I, okay. I used to do this in um, elementary school because my mom kind of made me do it. And then, like, between middle and high school, I did it as well. I would always have a, a, a umbrella in my book bag just in case it rained. As someone who used to um, be a military brat and having to move everywhere between moving here to Maryland, back to here to uh, Nebraska for like six years and stuff. And it rains a lot here in Florida and Nebraska. Not as much now, but oof. Always take an umbrella with you because you never know what the hell is going to happen. And when, you know, there's a day where it's like, damn, it is humid as fuck and you just need the rain. Mm -hmm. So always bring an umbrella. Because all my friends would always wonder why the hell I had an umbrella in my book bag. And I'm like, well, because just in case it rains. I was like, some of y'all don't, you, you might do it. But then the one day that you don't put an umbrella in there, it rains. And then usually that happens. So, always do that. Do you have enough excitement? It's a good question and a good title for an episode. So how the hell are you two going to get home? Are you just going to run? That or they're back. You could wait until it lets out, but then you could use your bags. It sounds like the plot of Corpse Party, even though it's not. <laughs> No, Zaki. Oh my god, you just fucked it up. My God. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, now where is my boy Nico? Like, mm. go on, Hazi. <laughs> I just say Hazi in the taxi. That's what I meant. <laughs> Look how short she is. Shouldn't it be the other way around? She needs to hold it. <laughs> I know, just like when you guys went to the mall. <laughs> Because he knows her. He knows her so well. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord. <laughs> <gasps> I don't think so either. I mean, no matter what, you still both got what? I mean, honestly, people should stop speeding down the road, even though that person was probably doing the speed limit. Right. You just walk along forever and ever. Mm -hmm. So don't bring get my hopes up. Mm -mm. Cause the last time you did that. Exactly. Do you have anything for her to wear? Oh, Jesus. Back to Oh, my God. Nozaki? Nozaki. No. No. Like, an oversized shirt would have been fine. Mm -hmm. Why should be ridiculous?
The misunderstanding. <laughs> oh, that's an all time high right there. <laughs> Oh, God. Tea sounds really nice right now. That or like some, I don't know, hot cocoa. It's kind of cold today. Chico is like, why the fuck do I put up with this man? Like, I love him, but oh my god. To Mickey. I know Tanuki's gonna hang out. Oh god, that that's um <laughs> Yamanaku and the Seven Witches in a nutshell, except it's not hitting each other. It's when they kiss. It's just, mm. Oh 
my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Good. Don't guilt trip her. I'm just loving the fact that Nozaki is helping her with this. You know what? At least she tried. <laughs> Honestly, that is her gear. <laughs> Damn it. I thought he wasn't going to like it. <laughs> He just looks cute. <laughs> I'm close to crying. Oh my god. He looks like Nozaki. <laughs> My stomach hurts from laughing so much. Oh my god, I'm crying. a boy in Oral High School House Club. <laughs> Just boys competing with another boy. <sighs> I want one. <laughs> That girl is going to frame it. Huh? Mm. 
<laughs> you can still draw them and keep ink them. <laughs> Bruh, what was this episode? <laughs> First these two stuck at school in the rain, but at least, oh my god, I can't. It was just so cute between them. I just, I mean, we're getting closer to the end of the show, and I mean, we know that they're not, she's not going to confess, especially Nozaki is going to confess to her too. I mean, come on now, it's so fucking obvious, but, uh, I just want like an anime only ending where they do confess to each other, and then they're finally together. But I think I might end up reading the manga after this series just to see how it possibly ended and stuff. But I love the fact that Nozaki is a girl. She's Kari, but oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to say it's a waste of time because it wasn't. It was good. But you know what? A for effort. She gets a round of applause. Yukari did amazing, beautifully. Her friends with her misunderstandings, though. Oh my god. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I just need an episode where her friends finally come over and be like, okay, please just explain everything. What's with the cute note that you had that's supposedly for your boyfriend? What's with the call that you had? Do you have a debt collector? Are you in debt? Do you need help? Do you what like what do you need? That's what I want. That's a good way to fall back on. Okay. <laughs> My precious girl, she's so adorable. <laughs> nothing else to say about this episode. <laughs> I mean, it said it all for itself, but oh my god. Our baby girl Sakura is still nine episodes in, and she's so fucking adorable. You have to love her. I mean, she's so precious and cute and sweet. She's kind of, she's kind of a little teeny tiny bit, not as much um, like Toru, because she can be a little, a little airhead at times, but you know what? It's cute. Being an airhead is adorable. I mean, that's why everybody loves the shit out of Toru, because Toru is Toru, and she's best girl in the damn Fruit Basket series. I mean, uh, you gotta love her. And so, yeah, I mean, if I, you know what, in the Chris, <laughs> I kind of wanted this for, like, a lot of series. I kind of wish that they ever did, like, a crossover with certain things. I think the Haiku series has kind of done it with, like, I think another sports anime volleyball series. I don't know. I'd have to go back, because I'm currently rewatching Haiku, Haiku for, like, the second time in a long time, but, um, yeah, I mean, if they ever wanted to do a crossover with this show and Fruits Basket, just to have Sakura and Doru meet, that would be the most adorable thing ever. I would probably end up being crying and ish, be like, oh my god, be like, look at my two airhead babies together, oh my god, that would just be so freaking adorable. 
But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. <laughs> okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! Yes, that's interesting. Do a spin-off. Or you can just do it with them just saying no. Hmm? Nice, I can say. Boom! Go! Mm hmm. Use it as research. Bam. Boom. There we go. There's our date. <laughs> you know what? And I have to say this. I really like it when, um, for mangas, and I, not every manga has done this, but like the ones that I've read where, okay, there are a lot of characters, and you cannot focus on a lot of characters typically at the end of the day because there's too many fucking characters. Just saying. Um, 50 out of 50, usually there is a spin-off series, and then you get to have those characters that didn't get that focus be the main focus in the spin-off. That's good, I'm just saying, because most animes and most mangas that I have read really sometimes can't do that. I think the biggest one that can currently do it as of right now is My Hero, even though I haven't read My Hero in two years, I believe, because I kind of... I. I didn't mean to stop reading. I just like took a pause on it because I was like, let me kind of wait a little bit longer and then come back. But that's all. You deserve to go on this date with her. Jesus. Can we just say the girl on the right? Yeah, her right there in the dress. She sounds like she's a dude from freaking Idol Master Million Live. If oh, girl. <laughs> but I love her so much. She's so hilarious. Mm, you look good. But she didn't have to dress up. Use it to find in her normal casual clothes. You could have just the biggest thing is you could take that tie off, maybe the jacket and stuff. And maybe that vest too. You're right about that. I I kind of think about that, but not every time I'm gonna. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh my God. Yuzu. And you made him get the food. Well, no, but see, that's right because usually you want the guy to get the food. But isn't it better when you go together? But you, uh, okay, you bought one popcorn, but you're going to have to share it. For a while, okay. Really? <laughs> uh oh. 
Is that supposed to be in reference to Attack on Titan? I know this movie is supposed to be referenced to, I think, it, it's the night something. I don't remember because it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Sometimes it's like that, even though this ain't a horror film, but still. <laughs> is she asleep? Oh, is he? <laughs> Okay, but she might just laugh it off or something. Let's see. Did they make a sequel to that movie, though? I don't think they did. He was watching more than you! It depends on what the movie is. And that's the same thing with an anime. Like, if we're talking about Death Note, you can have some good behind conversations with Death Note, I'm just saying. No matter how many times I rewatch that series. Oh, that looks so good. Poor Laka. Poor baby. And now you're going to have to go over Nozaki's and tell him about this quote-unquote date. So that you can use it for research. No, 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 no. Please. Oh, Jesus. Nozaki, this is what you took from that day. Because it's easy to walk. Oh. Oh, you mean use it? <laughs> <laughs> so, how'd it go? You went in there for your own selfish deeds! Oh. 
party sometime. Maybe Hashima doesn't want to do a musical. I mean, I don't really think it's a musical right now. <clears throat> yeah, can you manage to do a bit? We have another <laughs> possible. <laughs> Cheryl got it. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Sakura will be your your chica. No, Yuzu will be your chica. Oh my god. I can't with the girl in Ozaki, Well, you know what you could do? Yuzu could sing for her, and she could lip sync. But then everybody would know Yuzu is, yeah, 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 more like, shit. What do you do then? Waka, <laughs> if you only knew. Oh, poor Waka. Oh my god, see you the baby Mary Poppins! <laughs> Wait, no, that's not Mary Poppins. Oh my god, I'm sorry. My theater kid inner me is pissed off at myself right now. <laughs> but <laughs> But that like that thumbnail almost also really gave me themes to Mary Poppins the what is it? Chim Chimini? Oh my god. Ooh. I, I know, right?
the chemistry that these two have with each other. I can't. It's too much. Yeah, but you don't want to. <laughs> How about me, Cody? Would Nozaki even be good at acting? I mean, let's think about this real quick. Yeah, he probably understands the story, but I don't know. I feel like his monotone voice, which is really good. Oh, God. Maybe. Let's try it out. Look at her! <laughs> oh, precious baby girl. What the hell did I just see? I mean, um... No, but we want to see him in a different costume. <laughs> Not like he kind of looked like Kiro from Car Capture Sakura, but he kind of looks that like like that one thing from Azumaya Dayo. <laughs> uh, this isn't gonna work. Are you too? And let me guess, they're gonna walk. Yes, you got it. <laughs> you got this. No, because it's something else. But like cosplay or whatever. Yuzu? Kishima? You? Oh, yeah! Because <laughs> he is the thing for Mommy Go. Because, like, I remember in the beginning, I always, I was always thinking that the idea of Mamigo, way before we found out, was Sakura, but no. Push it back! Oh, 
What's wrong now? Oh, baby, you're just jealous. But the love that these two have for each other. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. I wouldn't try it. Okay. <laughs> Poor baby doll. But I mean, he can't even he look so good in that costume. Oh my god, I can't look baby boy. <laughs> I need to find it too. Like, oh my god. Good guys. Like, including Nozaki. Even though... No, thank you. Oh, <laughs> As I was trying to say, Nozaki, even though she was wearing that costume, <laughs> couldn't see his face. I, I mean, I was just as excited as Sakura. I wanted to see him in like a really nice, prickly outfit, looking all dashy and daring as fuck, but no. The only <laughs> like what? I can't like no. Oh my god! Like oh. <laughs> oh my god! And Waka uses date. <laughs> I wish we got to see the music part one too as well, but I get that. Oh my god, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is, I think we've seen everybody go on a date except Hori and Kashima. That's it. Mikurain doesn't really have anyone. I mean, because there are times where I, like, I kind of ship him with Sakura, but I'm like, oh, I was <laughs> And plus, Mikurain's a weeaboo, so, you know. But a cute weeaboo. With his dating sense and shit. <laughs> it's just misunderstanding. That's the best way to start <laughs> one of the last episodes because I'll be watching that next. What the hell? <laughs> oh my. Wait, 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 wait. It's possibly going to make sense. Oh my. Let me go back at that frame. <laughs> Why is she? <laughs> I can't. But it's cute, though. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It's the um. <laughs> it's one of my favorite moments in Blenna's, and the day I reacted to that episode was just like a fucking godsend. When <laughs> her best girl becomes BDSM as fuck, and then he, she uses what's his face as a seat. <laughs> Like, oh, oh my god, I was dying during that episode. I was like, oh my god, this girl. I love her so much, my precious baby. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. But this looks like the sweeter side of it. Like, you know how someone's like, damn, she doesn't have a seat. Okay, I'll be your seat. And be like, oh, why do you want her to sit on you? You're like, you got some, you know, 
Is that your fetish? You want people to sit on you like that? Mm, that's something that you need to handle by yourself. Oh, who knows? We're not going to know until I watch episodes 11 and 12. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of Monthly Girls Nozaki Karen. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the finale. Bye, guys.